The latest surge in COVID-19 is forcing health experts to make decisions about how they care for patients now. 10 News reporter Tim Harfman working for you to learn how some local health care providers are facing the challenge. Sova health leaders say it's their responsibility to provide care for all patients. But another COVID-19 surge is forcing them to redirect their attention. Unfortunately, in order to take care of a few that are spiking and have increased need, primarily those with COVID, we are required to reduce our services. Sova announced Friday elective procedures are suspended for two weeks. The Southside healthcare provider is currently treating about 60 patients, with 80% of them unvaccinated. This is day 661 of a global pandemic, and I, more than anyone, would love for this to be business as usual, but we're not there yet, and to act like it is, is a deadly mistake. Centra Health also continues its fight against the latest COVID surge, reporting 111 patients this week. 87 are unvaccinated. We've just reached that point. It's There's been so many positives in the community and in, in sick needing hospitalization that we've had to expand. Bedford Memorial Hospital recently opened a unit for non-ICU COVID patients. Centra also updated its visitation policy yesterday to only one person at a time. We struggle like every other facility, so it's it's a, a daily work in progress. Sova leaders say despite a nationwide shortage in COVID-19 test kits at pharmacies and health departments, people should avoid the ER as much as possible. Possible. And everyone seek those options before coming to the hospital just to try to get a COVID test. Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you.